So Laura, as we just saw, Paul's looking at in increasing stocking rates while maintaining that pasture conditions st like stability. So when we're talking about stocking rates just in general, what are some things that producers need to think of? Yeah, so thinking about stocking rate number one is really, really important. Stocking rates are actually the number one dis grazing management decision that livestock producers can make. It's more important than the grazing system that they choose or the stock densities. Um, it's more important than the time of year that they graze their native pastures. Um, it's also going to determine how livestock production goes and um, just the long-term sustainability and economics that, that that native grazing system provides. How intense should producers be doing? And that might differ th throughout the state, right? Yeah. So in general, we, we recommend using a moderate stocking rate. A moderate stocking rate is when you're leaving about... Um, 50% of the vegetation there. And when we say that we're gonna take 40 to 50% of the vegetation, not all of that is gonna make it into the cow. Um, in fact, when we're trying to leave 50%, about 25% of the total will go into the cow. 25% is kind of lost to the environment. It might be used by wildlife. It might um, go dormant and just be blown away, or it might be incorporated back into our soil. So we aim at using about 50% total and 25% of that goes into the cow. So if I'm a cow calf producer and I'm looking at, you know, thinking like, you know, grazing moderately in my area, what would be considered moderate might not be, you know, I, I might be thinking I might maybe intensifying that grazing, maybe going over that moderate might be best because that cow's gaining more weight. Is that, is there, is there, is, is the thinking there may be wrong and that you might actually be not getting the gains that you think? Yeah. So. It's true, the, you know, the thought that you can, if you graze more animals, you're gonna get more beef. Well, that might be true for a time being, but you're gonna have more issues with toxic plant consumption. You can have drops in animal performance, like lower um, weaning weights, lower calf crop, lower conception rates. Those can all be consequences when you try to push that stocking rate to a heavier level. Typically, if you use a moderate stocking rate, you're gonna make about 30% more over the long term than using a heavy stocking rate. Conversely, if you use a light stocking rate where you're not using quite as many animals, um, you'd probably make about 10% less than if you were using a moderate stocking rate. There's a lot of folks that think that, man, if I just push it to that heavy level, I might be able to make a little bit more money because I'm gonna grow more beef. But in actuality, usually the negative com the negative consequences of doing that win out and you actually end up making less. So, and and obviously uh, local county extension educators can help assist producers if they do have questions in regards to how to moderately, you know, stock the, the land. Yeah, yeah, our county educators can definitely help and there's some really excellent uh, fact sheets that we have that you can look at to help you figure out what the equations are for estimating your, your stocking rates and getting an idea of what the forage production would be in your area. All right, thanks, Laura. Laura Goodman, Extension Rangeland Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a link to the fact sheets that Laura mentioned, go to our website, signup.okstate.edu.